Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, hi! My name is Natasha and it's fantastic to have you here. For today's video, we are taking a look at the independent tarot deck Illusory Tarot. This is by Svetlana Gavoronskaya. It retails for $69 and everywhere that you can legitimately purchase this will be down in the description box below. I do have a code that Svetlana was so generous to give every one of my viewers, so 15% off any purchase at her store. So thank you so much, Svetlana, for sending this deck our way as well as the code. That is so awesome. So I have been working with this. I have been enjoying it. It's quite different and exciting. And this was a deck that Svetlana made after she was in a highway accident and was taking time to heal. So she felt that she needed to create her own deck to help her heal, which I find truly inspiring and very, very therapeutic. So uh, this helped her feel better during her recovery process. And then her friends and family wanted to use it as well. So she ended up making it for them. And then it became what it is today. So I'm really inspired and it is just a beautiful deck. Very, very much um, a, a heartfelt deck. It comes in a tuck box. It does not have a guidebook within the deck, but uh, there is one available in um, a download digital form. So there are the cards. There's the back. This was done in colored pencil, ballpoint pen, and calligraphy pen. Isn't that fun? All right. The feel of these cards are awesome. They are a slight gloss. It's not terribly glossy, which I'm loving. There's a white border and there's a keyword for each card in here as well. So you technically don't need a guidebook and um, at, you'll see as we go along. And I will talk a little bit about the motifs that you see in the uh, artwork as well. So like I said, been working with it. And it's been really interesting to use. The cardstock is nice. It's very flexible. I have really loved shuffling these. They slip nice and they uh, bounce right back. So all the faces that you find in the cards have their eyes closed. Only the back side of all the cards has the eyes open. With that, uh, she tried to add the transition between material and the immaterial world reminding that tarot, uh, the, the tarot reading process connects them both and helps you to connect to your spiritual part. The rainbows usually represent good life events, wealth and abundance, and they are related and represented to other parts of the card. Spikes represent challenges and hard times and or some more or less aggressive environments. Grapes are the classic way to show abundance and fertility. Stars and sparks add mysterious and magical meaning, sometimes more uh, immaterial meaning. And then flowers, because they are the source of life or the life itself blooming and full of energy. So that was from Svetlana. I kind of enjoy the fact that the eyes are closed in the cards. I know a lot of you don't like faces or realistic faces in your cards. So this might be a good choice for you if you want to dabble into having some faces without having them look up at you. I really like this hermit card. I like the arrows pointing inward. I like the little bubble keeping them out. I feel like I find something new to look at when I use this deck. There's always something new that I spot. It's so unique as well. I think the closest thing I have to this deck is another independent deck that I reviewed, and it is still very different. So uh, this is a fantastic deck for somebody who likes more um, 
ambiguous art. This always reminds me of like an art teacher, like loves just the essence of art and symbols and all of that. I just find this very unique. And the digital guidebook does go into detail a little bit more as to why the symbols were there or what the art represents. So if you are more curious, there is a downloadable one. I think it's, I think there's a basic one for $5 and then a more in-depth one for 15 And as I use this deck, it's always interesting to see the keyword that people will put on their tarot card for each card. So to me, there's a lot of uh, versatility in each card and what it could mean alongside another card in a reading or <clears throat> what your intuition picks up on. So this one word on the card is not the be all end all word for the meaning of the card. Just keep that in mind but it does make sense as to the energy of the card as well. So like one card can mean five different things. So picking the essence of the card, sometimes that's a hard time to do with a keyword. And if you are having trouble, I always suggest having a tarot resource guide next to you if you are a beginner or um, still having a hard time understanding, still in that learning phase. It just makes it a lot easier for you to kind of grasp what's going on. There is no shame in having the guidebook next to you. That's what it's there for. I can really appreciate just how much like handmade this was like and the whole backstory behind it. It's just amazing. And there's a lot, like I said, going on. There's a lot of color. There's a lot of explosion of art on each card. So this might not be for everyone, but for those of you who really like a unique deck, this is going to be a fun one for your collection. Or if you want something that's a little bit more abstract.
I love this with the yin and yang. We've got more grapes and rainbows. Oh, I just noticed the arrows here. See, every single time. <laughs> Always something new I pick up on. Honestly, I feel like this is a great everyday deck. I feel like this is a great um, personal deck. I feel like you can use this with clients. Your intuition just picks up on so many different things. I love the clouds. I like the way the waves are <laughs> trying to make them balance and juggle them. It's great. I like this representation too. All right, so let me show you how it shuffles. I really enjoyed the shuffling of this. Very satisfying. And it glides so nice. It reminds me of US Game System cardstock. Okay, so four of wands completing. So we have the rainbows, which are good life events, wealth and abundance. And then we have hands that are holding each other, signifying love and uh, partnership. We've got sparks and stars, meaning magical. So yeah, there's a lot here that represent what the Four of Wands energy is. So all in all, 
I'm very impressed with it as far as, you know, this is somebody who did research on tarot, knew that they were wanting to do this for just their own personal healing journey, and then it turned into something that they decided the world needed to see. And I think that's fantastic. I think that it's probably not going to be a deck for everyone just because not everybody likes all of the bright colors and, you know, everything that's going on in each of the cards but there's value here. Um, as far as an independent deck, this is unique. This is something that's like, I don't have anything uh, similar to it. Uh, it's very much well-researched as far as the symbols go. Uh, I really enjoy working with it. I think it's great. And the, co uh, the quality of the cardstock is wonderful. Like I said, I love shuffling this. It snaps back beautifully. So with all that being said, I would love to know what your guys' opinions are. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you think. Um, is this something that you've not heard of before? Is this something that you're excited by? Is this your type of deck? Or is it something that doesn't really register with you? It's not something that you uh, connect with. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Thank you so much to Svetlana for sending this deck our way. Don't forget if you would like to purchase this deck, there is that 15% off code. You can find it in the description box, in the comments below, as well as right here. And if you have not done so already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on your way out of the video. That way you will never miss an upload from me. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye!